So is it really possible to become rich with a dropshipping business? And in my opinion, yes. As long as you're aware of the right things that you should be doing and certain things that you should stay away from. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through four of the things that I've learned over the years that's enabled me to make over 110,000 pounds from this dropshipping website that I've not really put too much effort into. But because I've learned specific things that I should be doing with a lot of my e-commerce stores that I applied to all of the stores that I start nowadays, I'm able to make sales just like this. And the same four things that I'm gonna go through in this video that's gonna help you guys out enabled me to quit my full-time job, travel the world to various different locations while still being able to make a passive income from a lot of my e-commerce businesses. So you need to make sure you stick around to the end of this video so that you don't miss anything that could potentially change your life. And as always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get right into it. So if you find any value in the video at any point, don't forget to press the like button. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification let's get right into the video all right so jumping straight into it one of the first things that I learned in the early days of building my dropshipping business and definitely helped me when it came to growing my e-commerce store in general is by focusing on selling b2b products and for those of you that have never heard of this term before there's two main ways that you can structure your e-commerce business in terms of the type of items that you're going to be selling you can either focus on doing b2c which stands for business to consumer or you can do b2b which stands for business to business and in my opinion I would say that majority of the beginners out there that want to start a dropshipping store store tend to focus on selling B2C products. And the reason why I tend to focus on building my e-commerce stores around B2B products is because I'm going to be able to make a lot more money over the long term. And the reason for that is because when you're selling an item that a business needs for them to continuously keep operating their business, then you're going to obviously be able to generate revenues on a consistent basis. However, when you're selling a one-off item that maybe a consumer is going to buy maybe once a year, maybe once every two years, then the amount of money that you're going to be able to make from that one customer is a little bit limited. So by focusing on selling different items, that you know customers can come into your store and buy but also businesses will also come into your store as well this is a great way for you to increase the lifetime value of every single customer that you get so to give you a quick example of what i'm talking about i'm just going to jump into the laptop and show you these two websites right here so there's this website that sells all of these different muscle guns so they've got all of these different type of items in their store and there's this store over here that sells various different packaging equipment so if i was to guess which product would you guys prefer to sell i believe that you guys will go down the route of selling this muscle gun because it's a little bit more trending it's a little bit more popular and majority of beginners that want to start a dropshipping store tend to go down the route of selling trending items but the store that i'll prefer to start is this one right here that sells all of this packaging equipment for all the reasons that i said earlier i'm going to be able to sell all of these type of items for example bubble wrap seller tape all of these different boxes all of these different type of items to normal customers but i'm also going to be able to build up a big client base of various different businesses that are going to need my items and they're going to come back on a regular basis to buy them from me and there's so many different type of businesses out there that rely on these products for them to run their business in an efficient way. So just for the record, I'm not saying that you guys need to go away after watching this video and start selling packaging equipment. You can do so if you want, but all I'm saying is that I want you to go away and think deeply about the type of items that you're selling and whether or not you're going to be able to get recurring income from the same customer on a weekly, maybe on a monthly basis. Okay, so swiftly moving on to the second thing that I did that was really pivotal to me being able to live the life that I wanted to live and make the money that I wanted to make, which was that I sold on both eBay and Shopify. So in my opinion, I would say that it's not really wise for you to build a business just on one platform because anything can happen. Even if you've got a Shopify store that's doing over $100,000 or £100,000, anything can happen to it overnight. Maybe Google ads might change their policy, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever you're using as a way for you to get traffic onto your website. Anything can happen overnight and it's always good to make sure that you've got a second stream of income coming into your business so that you can sleep well at night, not stressing, thinking that something bad is going to happen and you're not going to be able to pay your bills but the key is just to make sure that whatever brand that you're going to build whatever type of items that you're going to sell on your dropshipping website that you also want to sell on ebay you have to make sure that you're selling the exact same items and building up the exact same brand as well so to give you a quick example of what i'm talking about i'm just going to jump onto ebay and we're going to be using the exact same item that we was looking at before which is postal box and as you can see there's all of these different listings and all of these sellers that are selling these type of items on ebay right now and most people that want to start a dropshipping business feel like ebay is dead and that there's no point building a business on it however if we go over to Zeke Analytics, which is a product research tool. I've just typed in postal box right there. And as you can see, just with the first 100 listings, which is the first two and a half pages, over 262,000 pounds was spent on an item that contained the word postal box in the title, which means that all of the different listings on the first two pages and all of the sellers that are selling postal boxes were able to make 262,000 pounds amongst all of them, which is definitely a lot of money. But if we scroll down to this listing over here and just click into it, as we can see, this particular 
particular listing was able to sell over 41 different units in the last 24 hours for this particular item and they've been able to sell over 66,000 units in total. So this seller is definitely making a lot of money from their eBay store because if we even click into the actual shop, we can see that they've currently got all of these different items available when it comes to various different businesses buying it, various different normal customers buying it as well. But one of the key things that this seller is doing that you guys need to make sure that you remember after you watch this video is that they've also got their own website as well. So even though they're potentially making around 20, 30, 40, maybe $50,000 every single month from their eBay store, they still made sure to set up their own website where they're going to be able to drive sales from here as well. And this is the exact same strategy that I've used over the years as well. I like to make sure that I'm building up a store with a similar Similar branding on both eBay and Shopify that way I'm going to be able to target customers on Google if I wanted to as we can see there's a lot of people going onto Google and typing in postage box as we can see year after year it's the exact same amount of people that are going onto Google and we also saw using Zeek Analytics that there's so much money that's being spent on this product on eBay right now as well okay so one of the next things that I'm going to go through that you guys need to think about if you want to give yourself the best chance of becoming rich with a dropshipping business which is that you need to make sure that you're testing as many products especially when you first get started. If there's one thing that I've learned about running any online business over the past 10 years is that you need to make sure that you're continuously testing various different elements of that business. And if we're looking at an e-commerce business like a dropshipping one, of course, the main element of that business is the products that you're selling. And the reason why I'm bringing this to you guys' attention is because when I first got started with my dropshipping business many years ago, I had the mindset that all I needed to do was find five winning products that I believed was gonna sell well. And that's all I needed to do. I didn't need to test out any products. I just felt like I automatically knew the five best items that I could sell maybe for the next 10 or 20 years. But as soon as I now got started and I started to grow my business, I realized that that wasn't the case. For me anyway, I realized that I needed to have as many items listed on my store as possible and continuously keep testing out brand new items on a regular basis. Reason being is because you may list an item that does really well right now. It brings in thousands of dollars every single month, but something can happen where slowly and slowly that item can die off. Or you may have another product that you've listed that initially it doesn't do anything amazing but over a certain amount of days over a certain amount of weeks you now realize that that product has become your best item in your store but the only way that you're going to get to that point is by testing out various different products but as you can see from this ebay store that i'm running right now i've currently got around 2482 active listings and with the shopify website i've currently got over 400 500 different variables when it comes to the different items that customers can buy but it's only allowing me to show you 50 items because i've got a lot more on other pages but the main point that I'm trying to get across to you guys with this is that if you're listing as many products as possible, not only are you going to be able to test out which item is a winning product, but you're also going to be able to generate multiple sources of income because the more items that you have available for customers to buy, the more opportunity you're giving your business for it to be able to bring money in on a consistent basis. So I'm not necessarily saying that from day one, this is what you need to do. You need to start listing thousands of different products straight away and have 4,000 different items on your store ready for customers to buy. Because if anything, that might even be a big mistake. You don't want to just list a a lot of items straight away. You want to gradually build it up, learn exactly how to manage all of your different listings as you go along. I didn't start off with around 2,000 different listings on this eBay store. On day one, I probably had around five items. Maybe the next month I had 15 items. The month after that I had 20, and then I slowly built it up bit by bit. All right, so moving on to one of the final things that I wanna leave you guys with, which is that if you wanna to get to the point of living a life of freedom with a dropshipping business, you need to make sure that you cut out all distractions. When it came to me growing a lot of my stores, I had to make sure to cut out every single thing that was taking energy away from me building up a lot of the stores that I was trying to build up. And that could be in the form of watching TV, going out with friends, trying all of these different side hustles instead of just putting your energy into one. When it came to me trying to make money online as a beginner, I made the mistake of trying to do so many different things at once. I was trying to day trade Forex, I was trying to day trade stocks, I was trying to do Amazon, Shopify, eBay, all at the same time. But as soon as I put my attention into just doing one thing at one time, that's what enabled me to get to my first $10,000 in profit with my first online business. So make sure that you cut out all distractions, make sure that you focus on achieving your goals because no one else is gonna do it for you. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to press the like button, I'll really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe as well, hit the bell notification. And if you wanna watch a completely free webinar where I go through how I was able to make $1,000 in profit from my first Shopify business, then make sure you click the first link in the description down below. Or if you'd rather watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago where I broke down the basic things that you guys need to know if you wanna start an e-commerce business in 2023 and beyond then make sure you click the link right there check that video out straight after this one because it's already helped out so many people and i'm sure that it's going to help you out too all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace